Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. It's been an amazing day. <laughs> Bitcoin hit an all-time high of about 67.1 thousand or so. Ethereum went above $4,000 and alts are generally speaking doing pretty damn juicy right now. Now, I'm not able to tell you where we're headed. Uh, I personally expect 67.8 thousand to happen not too uh, long ago from now on. Then again, we of course can also pull back a little bit as every single person who's ever bought Bitcoin in the entire history is now in profit. And of course, a lot of people want to take profit at those types of points. And a lot of others are trying to get this top, trying to short with some heavy money from here to make some nice bucks as well. So obviously, a lot of stuff is going on at this area and it's a little bit scary. But that's also why I can't give you guys the exact um, you know, rundown of what's about to happen. All I know is that it's free territory from here on forward and we could literally go to the freaking moon because, well, what's stopping Bitcoin now? <laughs> now, pretty funny, just a little bit before this happened, I gave you guys an update over on my other channel, which is called 5 Minute Crypto. On there, I basically said that I do expect a crazy pump to happen within 24 hours for us to hit all time high. And about like an hour or so after I posted a video or two hours, we all of a sudden went from like, 63 point something thousand dollars to about 67 which is definitely quite crazy but make sure you subscribe to this channel for more crypto price updates and more trading tips and right now if you're wondering by the way we are trading over on bybit if you want to trade on there too there are 3500 dollars worth of bonuses and a trading competition going on right now and my trades are bitcoin at about 530 percent profit and xrp at about 300 percent profit right now Having said that, let's quickly first get into our lawsuit update. Just added to our document library, a text-only order from Judge Nedburn denying XP holders' request to submit statements on the SEC Gov's request to extend discovery. So it's very simple to explain this one. John Deaton went in yesterday to basically say, hey, no more delays. We don't think it's smart because you basically denied us because we were going to delay. And the judge basically said, well, uh, the motion to file amicus brief, the XP holders request to, or sorry, I guess, order denying number 392 letter motion to file amicus brief. The XP holders request to submit a statement with respect to their interest in the scheduling of a discovery is denied, hereby ordered by Judge, uh, Magistrate Judge Nusara Netburn, text only order. This basically means there's not really a, um, a big document. It's just a text only, like a small part of an order. Um, it, it's about order number 392, which, again, we've covered a couple of times by now as well. It's basically John Deaton's request to say, hey, let's not stall things. And there's a good thing and a bad thing about this. So the bad thing, let's cover that one first, is the fact that John Deaton's opinion will not be heard, right? Or even though it might be heard, it will not matter. He basically said, let's not go for any more delays because XP holders have already been heard enough. There's 50,000 people who don't enjoy this, and you've also denied us for it delaying stuff. And the judge said, well, screw that. The good side about it is, well, two things. One, the judge read it. And the second of all, the judge most likely will, I guess, understand John Deaton's perspective and, and kind of um, use his help more from here on forward because of the fact that he did speak up and the judge most likely will know basically where she's going to need his expertise for. It's not like a silent little uh, witness, so to speak. So jo Jeremy Hoagland said, the thing to keep in mind is that the judge read the letter and that matters. Even if an official brief is not allowed, the bell is rung. And I understand as well that it's very, very nice. Now, why approve and then deny? Well, she approved basically for John Dean to enter whenever she requests his assistance, as far as I know. And what John Deaton tried here is just out of the ordinary, out of the blue, put up a letter to the judge saying that he has some information. I think that's the opposite way around, but he tried because, well, he wanted to try it out. And the judge basically said, no, you're not allowed to do that type of stuff. Because I understand, as I understand now, it's been denied to file the, the letter. It's not The letter has not been denied itself, but he's just not been allowed to um, submit anything. He basically had a request to submit a statement, and that was denied, so he could not submit a statement. It's not the statement itself that's been denied for, if you guys get the drift. So, yeah. Um, she did most likely read the letter. Not 100% sure, but 99% sure. And Ethereum, by the way, is still pumping. I can see $4,100 right now on Ethereum. Look at that. 
How much did we hit just now? 41.13. It's been crazy, man. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy to watch this. It's also specifically crazy because my trades that are open right now, I'm longing XRP. I'm longing Bitcoin. I'm longing everything. And let me know in the comments down below, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you trade crypto? Yes or no? And also make sure you press that like button because we have a crazy giveaway going on over on Twitter right now as well. It's $4,000, which again, is not a guarantee that it's going to be given away. Not a guarantee. But if I hit 40,000 followers on Twitter today, uh, maybe I should have done this week. Last time we hit like 2,000 followers in one day, the last time I did a giveaway. So right now I thought maybe we should actually double the, uh, the giveaway amounts and whatnot. But maybe it's a little bit too high. Maybe I should have put like 38,000 or so as a goal. But I thought maybe we should put 40. Not sure if it's going to work. Otherwise, I'll just do another giveaway like straight away tomorrow. We'll just retry something else. So once more, follow over on Twitter. Check it out. Enter the giveaway or join it. Whatever. All right. Then Coinbase NFT. Big news. Starting today, we'll begin introducing NFT creators we've teamed up with for drops on Coinbase NFT. We're excited to highlight the first four creators below. And stay tuned. We're just getting started. And here's a couple of the guys. And all I think about this is this is uh, going to be a lot of uh, interesting speculation. Ripple CEO calls Gensler and Clayton's meeting before the XP lawsuit bad optics. Here is why. So Ripple CEO Brad Gollin has recently appeared on Fox to discuss the ongoing lawsuit and the position of Ripple and the future of XP in the U.S. During the interview, Garlinghouse questioned the meeting between Gensler and Clayton right before the XB lawsuit and called it bad optics. He went on to reaffirm that Ripple won't aim for a settlement in the case unless XRP is cleared of as a non-security. So Charles quoted, Breaking. In an exclusive interview with Brad Garlinghouse, the Ripple CEO tells Fox that meetings between Gary and Clayton before the XB case was bad optics and he won't settle the case if the price Oh, sorry, guys. If the price is XRP being a security, more now with Liz Klisman. Liz Klisman, whatever. Pretty juicy, guys. Pretty kind of cool to say that, right? Cool to see that. All right, then I have a lot of stuff here. I won't tell you to short Bitcoin, says Guggenheim CIO, after capitulating during June drop. It's kind of funny, right? A lot of people got scared. The one thing I learned as a bond trader years ago, when you don't understand what's happening, get out of the market. So discipline tells me now I don't fully understand this. The CEO first came into the limelight back in December 2020 when he said that Bitcoin could hit 400,000 only to increase his target to 600,000 and two months later um, during this period Bitcoin went down from 20 to 60,000 dollars so went from. But in June when Bitcoin lost more than 50% of its value from the May all-time high to just under 29,000 miners called for a drop to 15 and now that Bitcoin is back onto the rise on the way to hitting its all-time high as it trades around 64,000 Minard has completely got out. We were long going into that. We sold, it pulled back to where I thought it was, um, and really, after looking at it, thought, you know, we were going to probably go lower. Well, we didn't, so we are not in. You see, Bitcoin and what I've done over the last few weeks, I can tell you it's a value, but I won't tell you that you should short it because you know it's likely to be going a lot higher over the coming months. 70% of the coins are garbage and will go away. The question is, just like the internet bubble, which of the companies survive? Will Amazon be the big winger? Or will Pets.com be the big winner? It's difficult to say. Very, very difficult to say. But all I know is right now, Bitcoin is going mad. We are at 66666. Interesting, interesting, interesting. XP at about $1.147. I'm still long, guys. I'm still long. I'm still buying. I'm still long. I'm still going nutty. All, all, all over on buy. But look at Polkadot as well. I just gave you guys the update saying things are going to break out like crazy on 5-Minute Crypto. You should head over to this video and press the like button, man. Just literally watch the video. It's amazing if you look back in hindsight. <laughs> this is so funny, man. <laughs> look at the prices here. So Bitcoin, 60, below 64000 Ethereum below $3,900. I'm not sure what the Polkadot price is, but here I said as well, Polkadot can go insane. Of course, I only have five minutes, though, so I don't have that much um, room to go really in depth on it. So well for ADA, every coin that we talked about. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. Just how, how short of a time frame things have gone crazy for already or crazy by already. Oh, I'm just excited, man. I'm, I'm really freaking hyped up and excited. Wow, that's good stuff. That's juicy stuff, everybody. That's juicy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys are excited too, man. Go follow this channel. It's worth it. Or uh, yeah, 5-Minute Crypto. Link is down below for that one. All right, all right. Let's see what else we got. U.S. Senators call Facebook to immediately end the Novi pilot program using the Paxos dollar and Coinbase custody. The call came right after Facebook launched its digital wallet, Novi, through which it will offer free 
person-to-person -person payments that will ultimately use stablecoin Diem, pending regulatory approval. So, of course, regulators are like, no, please don't, please don't do that. And they're you know, trying to say no. So that's, that's the long story short about that one. Nova users also benefit from Coinbase Custody's leading insurance program, which includes a $320 million commercial crime policy. So pretty safe for a lot of things, but that's besides the point. I don't want to talk too much about this one right now because it's not really my, um, my expertise nor my style. Are bulls getting back into Ripple's XRP amid a beat market sentiment? I, I believe so, yes. You know, if you're honestly asking me, I think well, I'm being called right now by a company. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. See, phone. Why is somebody calling me this late? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, of course, we're in a different country now. Maybe that's why. I, I wanted to say, are, are bulls getting back into Ripple's XRP amid a beat market sentiment? Maybe. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to say yes. Uh, however, I would also say Bitcoin right now is king and people selling all their altcoins for Bitcoin are not completely wrong, but eventually it'll switch over. And I'm personally preparing right now like a madman because what I expected was Bitcoin to really take over a little bit more in terms of um, dominance, uh, go on a little bit of a rush first, like up 10, 20 more percent or so, maybe towards 90,000 or so. And, and then a lot of money to flow over into altcoins, which is basically what we're preparing for right now. And that's also why I have a lot of money into Bitcoin right now. And eventually I'll switch a little bit of the money over into altcoins again to make more money but it's about to get really freaking crazy guys almost every single coin i'm buying right now is going up like freaking nutty uh, every like uh, sort of sale that i've been buying into and i think things are only going to be getting crazier and crazier and crazier from here if you're looking for a good exchange check out buy because you have 3500 for the bonuses i'll see you guys again in another crypto video soon and also check out five minute crypto a link for this channel is down below you should definitely go ahead and check it out because all the updates right now have just been beautiful beautiful beautiful